Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. On our last High Torque episode, we tested the new Flex 1150 foot-pound impact wrench versus the so far top-rated cordless on this channel, the M18. And many of you were surprised that a tool rated at 1400 foot-pounds beat out a tool that was rated 1150 foot-pounds pretty handedly. But then again, Flex has sort of been asking for it comparing everything they make to Milwaukee. Today we get to even the playing field a bit in the specs column as we make our way through all the high torques on this channel and today with the DeWalt DCF899. Many of you have reminded us in the comments section about the existence of this tool, so apologies for making you wait this long. On our last DeWalt episode, the new DCF901 Compact did a good job of beating the M12 Compact with any battery that Milwaukee can provide you, as well as beating out the M18 Compact. So DeWalt definitely has the wherewithal to topple that red giant. However, that compact came out this year in 2021. And the high torque that we're using today has been out for quite some years. And with this plastic switch power setting knob, you sort of notice it too. We'll have to see if it's able to hold off the new laser light bright model from Flex. And we're also going to rope in the M18 as well, just for some context in this high torque space. This particular DeWalt on screen was provided to us by a viewer that we vetted. User Comeuppance reached out to us in a convincing way to get us to test the DCF-899 by handing over his own. At 700 foot-pounds max torque and 1200 foot-pounds breakaway, the DeWalt high torque compares quite similarly to Flex's 800 and 1150 figures. And while we called the Flex no shorty being 8.74 inches long in that episode, the DeWalt is a near identical 8.81 inches long, but the DeWalt does feel a bit more hollow, if that makes sense, being 6 pounds dry and 7.4 pounds loaded with a 5 amp hour. And this DeWalt comes in noticeably less than a loaded flex, which tops our scales at 9 pounds fully loaded, the heaviest impact wrench we've tested. At $350, you'll be paying around $50 more as a kit compared to the $299 flex because the Flex can only be purchased as a kit. But if you're already making a sacrifice at the yellow altar and have a bunch of these XR batteries laying around, the DCF-899 can be had for around 210 to 230 bare, which we think is a great deal for a rarely seen USA-made cordless impact wrench. Considering the Flex can't compare to either of those attributes, definitely a win for DeWalt in that column already. Then again, the Flex has this new shock shield head wobble action that saves your wrists. It earned a 5.0 on our wrist breaking scale, which is the lowest we've seen from a high torque yet. So we'll have to see how the DeWalt does today compared to that. But we're not going to give away any participation prizes just yet. Let's see how they do on the dyno where the boys become men. Our first test of three is called working torque. It's five seconds in forward. Up first is the Flex. And now we have the DeWalt DCF-899. Definitely similar there with the flex coming out ahead, but as we say on this channel, if you brag about forward torque specs on these tools, let's take a look at the M18 for some context in the category of what a 1400 foot-pound rated tool can do. So yeah, Milwaukee takes it, definitely. It's an absolute beast in forward. Up next is our max torque test, this time 10 seconds in reverse. We're jumping right into the head-to-head -head between Flex and DeWalt. So we'd go so far as to say that's interchangeable performance, no significant difference between the tools, despite two different companies, two different countries of origin, and vastly different release dates between these two tools. Now lastly, we're tacking on the M18 from Milwaukee, just to see what it can do.
That Milwaukee really brings the beans, but it will make you pay for it as well on difficult bolts. It earned a 7.5 from us on our risk breaking scale, and the Flex earned a record low for a high torque 5.0, dealing some rotary twisting action on your arm, like a low power corded drill sort of. This DeWalt though, similar sort of jumping around and vibrating like the Milwaukee does, but to a noticeably lesser degree. It gets a 6.0 from us on this subjective scale. More pleasant to use for sure than the M18, but maybe that's due to the power difference? We don't know. For our last test, we have what we call best case scenario. 15 seconds of reverse and DeWalt's last chance to stand out from the flex. We're going to show the flex versus the Milwaukee first, then the DeWalt to see where it lands on that graph versus the others. And here's the DeWalt. So neither of them able to touch the Milwaukee, but it's interesting for us to see how up to 10 seconds on this BCS test, the power curves look just as they did on the 10 second max torque test. But after that, the DeWalt is somewhat done making power, flattening out on that curve where the flex is able to build a gap on it. 52 foot pounds of a lead in this case, nothing to ignore here. And just because the flex put that gap on after 10 seconds doesn't mean it needs 10 seconds to see that advantage in real life. Remember, we're starting from zero torque and building. You're not. So on bolts stuck at the equivalent of 550 foot pounds or more on this graph, the flex should be taking off that bolt quicker. So let's see how our ranking chart looks given this performance. So the DeWalt's near the bottom for now and while we tally up its points, its test scores get turned into points. So that's 45, 58, and 60. At 8.8 .8 inches long, divide that by its top 602 score, and that's 68.4 foot-pounds per inch. It advertises 700 foot-pounds max torque compared to its 602 score. That's 86% of its torque claim, so it gets 86 points. A bare DeWalt tool can be found for around $220 on average right now, so that makes for 41.1 points. So what is that total and where is it ranked? That adds up to 358.5 points or cementing it right into 10th place right above the two Harbor Freights. So well below the Flex in 7th place and very much well below the Milwaukee in 3rd place. So our takeaway from this episode, even though it's a DeWalt episode, was really about the Flex. Okay, so the Flex doesn't topple the Red Giant, but today it did beat DeWalt. And for years, people have been happily comparing the yellow high torque and the red high torque with their personal experiences. So the Flex coming in even a bit closer in this case for around $50 cheaper with some added modern goodies that the DeWalt doesn't have. Not too shabby, we think, when you put it in a more comparable head-to-head -head versus a top brand like this in the DeWalt. If you were wanting to point out that there's an M1 version of this DeWalt kit with a 4 amp hour battery that can be had for... 299 now just like the flex or wanting us to test other dewalt batteries in general stick around we won't be diving into dewalt's special sauce 21700 cell 6 amp hour battery because then we'd need everyone involved to strap on new 21700 cell batteries and sort of redo this entire episode but we will be seeing if fake knockoff batteries can keep up with this xr 5.0 or even the 4.0 in future episode if that or more episodes like this sound interesting to you Consider subscribing, and thanks as always for watching.